Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. And today I'm using Simple Stories, My Story. So I'm just giving you a bit of an idea of what's in this collection. Some really lovely 12 by 12s. I particularly like the peachy, orangey, greeny combo they've got going on in this range. And I know it's about telling your story and there's books and there's typewriters, but I think it's got a wide range of uses. So I've got an idea of what I want to do this time. I've got a photograph of my daughter in Amsterdam because I feel like there's also got a bit of a travel theme to this, even though that's not what it's about, but uh, I think it's very versatile. I'm using the Just Be You, or I'm using the, the reverse of it as my base layer for this. And I'm just gonna work my way through some of the ephemera and see what I think would work um, with this layout. So I like to look at everything, uh, it's just the way I am. I like to think I've not missed anything, so anything I think might have a use, I cut off the um, plastic uh, with, it, with it attached, with the foam stickers, things like that. And if it's chipboard, I actually take the uh, glue layer off the back as well, because I'm not gonna commit myself this early. And you'll know that if you've watched any of my videos before. Uh, for me, it's all about the process, so I like to look at it all. I like to move it all around. It's not till the very end that I actually start to use any adhesive at all. And uh, it makes myself laugh when I watch it back because um, I can literally hear myself thinking. But hey, that's the way it is. So I've got an idea of how I want this to look um, because I want to use that bike and I want to use a couple of the houses as well, elements. So I'm thinking of uh, two uh, horizontal lines across the uh, layout. I found that notes uh, embellishment there. I think that would be really good. I want to put a little bit of journaling. It's one of my things this year. I want to try and add journaling to the front or the back of everything I make um, because I'm, I'm quite good at putting the date and maybe the name of the person, but I need to start to put a little bit more. So uh, that's what that journaling spot is for, essentially, for me to be able to do that. Now, I love these little houses they've got in this range. I know they say uh, like bookshop and bakery and cafe and things, but they're typically the sort of house that I, reminds me of Europe, of um, particularly in, in uh, Amsterdam, but in other cities. So I think they would be ideal going either side of the photo. So I'm just looking at some of the uh, six by eight pad papers. Obviously, they're the they're same prints as in the 12 by 12, but actually, because obviously they're smaller, they've been uh, recreated smaller for the pad. It's, they're more intense, so I'm going to do some rip lines um, horizontally to actually sit these embellishments on. By the end, you don't see that much of them, but I do feel that it actually grounds everything to the layout, and that's where my mind is going at this stage. Rather than cut into the 12 by 12s, I'm going to use two bits of the 6 by 8 and join them underneath the embellishments. You got, you're not going to know, um, only because I've told you, uh, but you're not going to know when you see the finished layout that it wasn't one full piece because it's not the main event, so it doesn't matter. I'm trying to keep the pattern exactly the same as it goes across, but even if it changes a little bit, nobody will ever know. So I'm just looking at a couple of papers in complementary colours to actually back this photograph with, and I've gone with the uh, quite a strong peachy uh, orangey colour and a green as well. So my first um, impressions is I really like the way this is coming along. There is a uh, bundle of tulips that I really want to get on this layout and you'll find that it moves around. I won't tell you whether it makes it or not at this stage, but uh, another sign for me that Amsterdam was a perfect uh, photograph to scrap with this. Plus all these flowers in pots. I don't know whether you've ever been to Amsterdam, but there's a beautiful flower market there. Um, I think they even have a floating flower market. Anyway, to me, Amsterdam, Holland is all about flowers, isn't it? They uh, grow a lot of them over there. So that would be perfect as well, even though that's not what the picture is about. So I've brought in my distress tool now and I'm just going to rough up the edges of these um, horizontal pieces. I've got three in each um, cluster. I think that's what I'll call them. <laughs> So I'm it's using a bit of sellotape now to join it to the back of that card. It takes me a little bit to just rearrange it. Um, and I may even shorten them later, but I thought if I can attach them to the card to start with, and then it's a good starting point. Now you're thinking, why isn't she attaching that to the background paper? In fact, halfway through this, I was wondering that myself. But actually, by the end, I'm going to lift it all up off the base layer. So 
that is why I'm actually just sticking it together as itself. Also at one stage I thought I might do something behind it which I don't do in the end but it was already it was always a possibility so by not sticking it to the 12 by 12 I kept my options open. So looking at this cluster this one I felt like came together really well. You saw me there add some talc to the back of a sticker. What I do is I put the foam pad on the back of the sticker then I talc the rest of it so if, if it gets compressed in an album it doesn't stick flat <coughs> excuse me so um, that's why the I keep talc in the back as you can see there was a cup and a world a globe sorry and flowers and a house all suitable for travel and home and it's such a good range actually for um, giving us lots of options I'm looking forward to making other things with this uh, later in the month in fact if you get a chance there seems to be new Simple Stories ranges being released all the time and I feel like in the last few years they have really upped their game and produced some really interesting um, ranges um, and also the things within it. I think the tag paper has become literally one of their trademarks and um, I would really recommend them. I really enjoy creating with them and keep an eye on Hey Little Magpie because there's always something new being added to the store. And as I say, quite a lot of Simple story stuff um, that you can get there. So I just came back in with the sellotape on the back just to try and make sure those strips are more securely stuck. Uh, I'm swapping them over and bringing the, the photo um, cluster down to the bottom, but actually I prefer it the other way around. I prefer the bike at the bottom later on and I will swap them back, but it was easier for me to actually work on it nearer to myself as nothing is actually stuck down yet rather than stretch over in the video so as I say just dusting with a bit of tack so I can stick those flowers down I'm going to add a couple more um, buildings on the other side and I really like the way that's coming and I'm definitely going to add that title there so I've switched them back and the bottom one is all together so I've brought in some craft foam just from a, a general craft store this isn't sticky but I'm going to add some double-sided tape to it and that's just to lift it all up off the base layer and I like the way that's done that so I'm just trying to finish this top one. It hadn't quite come together the way I wanted, so I just walked away from it to concentrate on the bottom one. I quite like this table and chairs. I think it gives that cafe vibe. A bit, a bit Parisian, really, I suppose, but uh, it certainly will suit Amsterdam. So I'm going to add some foam to the back of this one as well. Just saves using foam pads. Uh, I've got some of this left over, so I'm just going to... I'm trying to use up some of my excess stash this year, so... I've stuck all that down and I'm just looking at any finishing touches, any bits and pieces that I want to bring in. I've got these sticky brads so I'm going to add a few of those in as well. I will add journaling off camera and it will be there for the finished uh, photographs because if I don't do it straight away I won't do it. So uh, that is a, definitely a tip. If you're going to add any journaling or dates try and do it as soon as possible because once they get in the album you haven't got a hope of going back to them or you haven't if you're me. So uh, I'm just uh, titivating this, as I would say. That bird, I really like it. Doesn't make the final cut, but never mind. I'm just going to add, look at the word stickers and see if there's anything there. As I say, I don't like to miss anything. So do check out this range and more in the Hey Little Magpie shop. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Um, like, our, uh, subscribe to our channel. And I hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.